Industrial temperature applications often demand that the temperature sensor, whether it's a thermocouple or an RTD, are installed at a fair distance away from the temperature meter or controller. Signal loss due to resistance as well as electrical noise can play a major part in the accuracy of your application. First, let's look at resistance. When using a thermocouple, as a general rule, the total resistance of the sensor and the wire from the sensor to the indicator should never exceed 100 ohms. With that, let's say we have a Type K thermocouple connected to a temperature controller with a 500-foot run of 12-gauge wire. If we refer to the resistance versus wire diameter table, we can see that a Type K thermocouple has a resistance factor of 0.091 ohms. So, if we multiply the length of our run, 500 feet times the resistance factor of 0.091, we get 45.5 ohms, which puts us well below the 100 ohms maximum total resistance that we mentioned earlier. Meanwhile, three and four wire RTDs can have longer wire runs, since they can both differentiate between the resistance of the probe versus the resistance of the wire run. Now let's look at electrical noise. A wire run can act just like an antenna, pulling in background electrical noise. The longer the run, the more noise they pick up, leading to signal loss and measurement errors. Ideally, you should avoid areas where there's a lot of electromagnetic interference. But as we all know, sometimes that's just not possible. Using a heavier gauge wire will help reduce the amount of noise. We recommend a minimum of 24 gauge. Shielded cable also helps to a degree, but if the distance from the sensor to the indicator is too far, no amount of shielding will ensure that your signal is strong enough to be read accurately. Here's where a signal conditioner, like a temperature transmitter, comes into play. A 4 to 20 milliamp loop transmitter is often a low cost and effective solution. The signal is converted to milliamp output with 4 milliamps representing the low end of the measurement and 20 milliamps representing the high end. Milliamp current signals can travel up to 1,000 feet without being affected by signal loss due to electrical noise. If you need to transmit your sensor readings further than 1,000 feet, you might consider alternative transmitters with digital signal output like Modbus or Hart for longer distances and flexibility into your systems. A signal conditioner or transmitter is great for getting your sensor's signal from point A to point B accurately. But what if you want to take your sensor data wireless? With the Layer N wireless smart sensing ecosystem from Omega, you can integrate thermocouples or RTDs and transmit those sensor readings wirelessly with a clear line of sight transmission range of up to 1.2 kilometers. And that's not all. Your sensor data can be sent up to the cloud where it can be logged, recorded, analyzed, and accessed from anywhere 24 seven and in real time without any of the limitations of a wired temperature sensing solution. Want to find out more about how Omega can help with your application? Call or chat online at omega.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.